I might not have air conditioning right now and I might be sweating and it might be enough to where I might faint in the next 10 minutes. But I'm dedicated to reviews and movies and that is why I'm here today. It is time to do my most anticipated movie of September of 2018, guys. Last month, I totally got it wrong with The Meg. The Meg did very good. I did not expect that. I really thought it was going to bomb, but that movie made money. It definitely made money and we're definitely going to get a sequel. One day, somehow, we are. It's either going to go straight to DVD or they actually might be smart enough and make a sequel and make it rated R. Who knows? But it's time to move on to September. September has some movies but it's still the dead zone. I don't think personally we don't have any movies I'm really intrigued until October, late October, November, December. Those are when the months I'll be more excited for movies. But for now, September just doesn't have those movies I am pumped for. And that's kind of sad because there are some movies that could be really good. But then again, I there is just not a whole bunch, but we'll go with it. So like, I, like always, Three movies I'm looking forward to, three movies I'm not looking forward to, what movies made the most money, what movie is going to flop. We make predictions, and again, these are just from the trailers and the reviews that have come out a few early for a few movies, but that is it. Only This is literally just my prediction and what I'm excited for and what I'm not. So let's do my most anticipated, the three movies. Number three is a movie I think a lot of people won't expect me to pick, but I am picking because the trailers have very much intrigued me and I do have a friend who wants to go see it with me. So I definitely will take her. And that is A Simple Favor starring uh, Blake, Cli Blake Lively. I almost said Clively. Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick. And it's from the director of Paul Feig. And this is like a murder mystery. And I love mystery movies. You've seen a review of Searching I just posted. You know, if you know, I'm a guilty pleasure with just murder mysteries and people gone missing. I love those type of movies. And so this movie looks like it has that. And I love Blake Lively. I love Anna Kendrick. I really do like Paul Feig. I know he did the new Ghostbusters. and But he has made a few movies called, you know, Spy. Uh, he made The Heat. I'm pretty sure he did Bridesmaids. I mean, he's made some funny movies, but this is a totally different new movie for him, so I'm very much intrigued to see it, and that's why it's my number three. Number two. Number two is a movie that I hope is really good because the trailers and everything has gotten me excited for it, and my number two is The Nun. I do want to see The Nun. I really do. It's rated R, too, which is it makes me so much more happy it's rated R, so it's going to be great, hopefully, because, I mean, it is rated R. I mean, that, that, that just, when I heard that news, I was like, we have something here. We actually might because, again, the first Annabelle sucked. The second Annabelle was great. And I'm pretty sure that one was rated R too. And I love, if you know me, I love The Conjuring and Conjuring 2. So I just love everything in The Conjuring universe. So The Nun was one of the most creepiest parts in The Conjuring 2. So she gets her own movie. Hopefully it lives up to where The Conjuring 2 was at. Maybe even better. Who knows? We'll find out like next week. I'm really excited to see that. And I hope to God it's good because, man, again, I'm looking through all these movies and there is just, there's not a whole bunch. But my number one, for sure, out of everything, I'm going to go have, I'm going to have to say White Boy Rick. I, I don't know. There's just not a whole bunch. I know a lot of you are thinking, wait, where's the movie? The, the oh, we'll get to it. I think a, a few of you know what movie, yeah. But number one is gonna be White Boy Rick. Um, I the trailer, the one trailer we got, and I've seen like a few times, was an awesome trailer. And so just from that one trailer, I want to see it. I love Matthew McConaughey. I mean, I know he stole the Oscar from Leo because you know, Wolf of Wall Street. Anyways, um, the main kid looks good. The story looks interesting about the first uh 15 year old American hustler gangster kid and then Matthew McConaughey's dad. Like, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I do want to see it. Hopefully, it's in one of my local theaters where I can see it. But I do want to see it. I really do. I think it's going to be a good movie. It might be an early Oscar tender, but it's coming out really early. And usually those movies get forgotten, so who knows. Alright, so now it's time to do the three movies I am not that excited for. Three movies I don't really care to see, but they're on the list. Number three is a movie called Night School. I think the trailers have shown the best parts. I don't think... If it, if it was rated R, I'd, th I'd be way more excited. But it's just... I don't know. I, I just... I love Tiffany Haddish. She was great in Girls Trip, but I feel like they're really milking her. I mean, dang, she was like, she's got like four movies coming out in the fall. She's got this movie. She just had Uncle Drew. She has that one movie with Tyler Perry. She's got that one movie with the guy from uh, uh, Blocker. She's got that movie. I mean, they are, she is busy, busy, busy. And I, I'm glad she is because Girls Trip 
made her a star, man. She is everywhere now. But from this, from these trailers, I, it looks very dumb. It might be a good time, who knows, but they've shown a lot from the trailer, so I don't know how to feel about it. But that's why it's number three spot, so yeah, number three is definitely that one. All right, number two. Number two is a movie where I think I'm gonna get some hate for, but it's gonna be The House with a Clock in Its Walls. Um, I think... Jack Black, I like I saw the Goosebumps 2 trailer and I was like, wait, Jack Black's not in it. I love the first Goosebumps. And I saw this trailer, I was like, oh, I think he was on the wrong set. The wrong kids Halloween movie. He's on the wrong set. But I said the same thing about Goosebumps. The first Goosebumps movie I did not like. And I, I know you're all thinking, this is not Goosebumps, I know, but just from the trailers, I mean it just it just totally reminds you of Goosebumps. But the House and Clock Wall, the only thing that keeps me interested is Kate Blanchett and Jack Black. Those two, I like them a lot, actually. The main kid is the kid from Daddy's Home. And I'm pretty sure this movie is directed by Eli Roth. Like, I am 90% sure. So there's a lot of intrigue, but this movie could also flop very hard. And I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. But from the trailers, they haven't really, really done anything yet. I haven't, like, freaked out for this movie yet. I could care less to see it. I will see it because, again, Goosebumps was a pure example. It looked shitty. Turns out to be really good, just from my opinion. But Goosebumps 2 looks poop. Alright, so number one, number one. Alright, so literally three days ago, this movie on right here, I'm about to say for number one movie I'm not looking forward to, it would have been my number one three days ago. Guarantee you, it would have been my number one. 100%. I've been looking for this movie ever since they announced it and the trailer came out. I actually liked the first trailer, second trailer I did not like, but two days ago we got a third trailer for this movie, and it ruined. I am no more excited for this movie, and that is why my number one movie I am I don't care to see anymore, which is so sad because I was really looking forward to it, and that is The Predator. I I love the first Predator movie. The first Arnold 1987 Predator movie is an A-plus movie, hands down. I love that movie. I know a lot of people are like, it's just guilty pleasure. No, 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 that is a good freaking movie. Good movie. Predator 2, it's Predator 2, but Predators, I think is actually really, like, it is very good, decent for a Predator movie. I don't I don't mind the Predator Predators at all. Like, I think it's a solid movie. It's very watchable. I do own it. I watch it a few times every couple years because I love the Predator movies, so I watch them in order and I watch that one. And it's a fine movie. This one has so much potential. It's Shane Black writing and directing this movie. He did The Nice Guys, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man 3, yeah. But man, I mean, that's potential right there to be an awesome movie. He was also in the original Predator. But this trailer that just came out like this current week, I literally was like, oh my god, this looks awful. This looks bad, and now I'm not excited. That one trailer ruined it for me. I wasn't going to watch it because it, it, was, it was literally the prior, the final trailer. I was like, I don't need to watch it, but I did, and I watched it, and now I'm ruined because I don't care to see it. But deep, deep down, I am a little excited, but not really because that trailer was bad, like really bad. All right, so those are my movies I'm not looking forward to. There are a few other movies like Smallfoot and all that kind of stuff, but... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm in college, so there's a lot going on, so I don't know if I'm going to review every single movie this month, but I'm going to try, because I always try. I'm in a hot heat right now. I'm about to faint. All right, so now let's do the, the part of the movie. I mean, video. I am about to freaking... I am pure sweating right now. Ha! Huh. What movies made most money? It's going to be The Nun. It's a horror movie. comes out in the very early of the month. It's got all the month to do it. Nothing else is going to do it. What's going to flop? Ah... Uh... I'll go The Predator. Why not? It might have a low budget, and it might make a ton of money, and I might be wrong, but you know what? I'm literally dripping sweat right now because there's no air conditioning in my house, so I don't care anymore if I'm wrong because I want to go home. I want to get out of this house before I faint. I still got to edit this video. All right, so those are my picks. I think the movie's going to make the most money. Is The Nun. I do think it's a horror movie. People like horror movies. It'll make the most money. The movie's going to flop. I do think The Predator. It it's... It's kind of worn out now, maybe. That, that last trailer ruined it for me. Maybe some other people feel the same way. I don't know. We will find out, though. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. And I hope you guys have a lovely night while I go home, or leave the, my home because I am dripping sweat. Yeah. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, 
Talk to you guys next time.